Now let's create outer posts page, which is pretty much going to be similar to user comments where we used this table. So open outer posts view and create title and content sections. Now open comments, view and copy this div content. And now we need to change a few things here. So we want to display post title when the post was created, uh, when it was updated, how much comments it have, and we want to be able to edit and remove that post. Now let's double check if we have the relationship between user and the post. and it seems like we have. Now, the reason why we are getting this one second ago is because those values in the database are equals to null. 
Now let's create route function and view for editing the post. Now to check if that user have permission to access that post, we will actually check for the user ID column. So first we will have where ID and second one will be where user ID is equals to currently logged in user ID. And we want to get the first one. Now create title and content sections. And in this case, I would like to make the post title the title of the page. Now for the content part, we can actually use the content from new post. Now we are going to set the value of the title to the value of the post we are editing. And let's do the same for the text area of the content. And it seems like we forgot to pass 
the variable to the view. So I'm simply going to remove this route until we create the route for handling the post request of post editing. Great. Now let's create route and function that will accept this data. For this function, we can actually reuse create post request. So first we want to find that post. And we also need to accept and post ID here. So post is equals to where ID is equals to ID. And then we are checking if the logged in user is the creator of that post. Great, now let's check if it works. So let's update the title and the content. And as you can see, there is a message post updated successfully. Now let's work on the post removal functionality. For this, we will have to create a new route and a function.
Since this is post type of request, we will have to create a form here. a quick overview on what we just did. So since this is under the for each loop, we are going to create more forms and they cannot have the same ID. So we created delete form minus post ID and this form will have the same ID as this one on click get element by ID. Let's take a look and check if it actually works. And it seems like we forgot to define form method to be equals to post. Great. And as you can see, the post was removed.